welcome to the history hunter welcome to our small adventures with the world war ii time frame we are going back to a very special luftwaffe location we are going back with the five fish v6s omnidirectional rov with a beautiful grabber if you're not already please subscribe hit the notification bell watch the videos in full comment 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 and just put on a couple of videos during your lunch break help us out to reach more people we are heading for a million subscribers we have 300,000 who knows if we'll get there but with your help we can definitely do that also massive thank you to my patron paypal supporters already in there you are the guys and girls who make this come through so we can go out and share incredible adventures like you see here today well we are going back as i said who knows, we might end up finding more of these beautiful German World War II beer bottles. Leuven Brauerei, 1938, I think this says. Yeah, and we have another type here, marked 1943. And who knows what more we can find. This ROV is just fantastic. You're going to get to know it a little bit more in this episode. But I also want to show you, I made a little bit modification. This is the regular type that comes with the ROV, but I wanted to see if I can expand the possibilities to grab other things. So we have both the possibility of this thing here, but now we also have this flat area. I made this in aluminum and it can actually clamp onto things. So who knows what we're gonna find here today. Nevertheless, this thing is awesome. And let's go out there. Let's go out and see if we can find the pass together right now. <laughs> It's going to be 10 minus at least today Celsius, so I'm going to use some long underwear. They're not wool because I would scratch like heck, but uh, it's definitely going to be needed today. So you can see, I went the other day to crack open the ice, and you can see it's ice absolutely everywhere, but it kind of froze up again, so I have to do it all over again. But you can see cracks in the... Uh, ice sheet here but it keeps freezing up freezing up so this is going to be interesting so there is the little setup of the five fish v6s from qyc am i glad that we have it yes let's see if the uh, modified claw works i had to paint it black matte black so it won't reflect the uh, leds so you can see it's pretty simple you have a controller and tab you can see the camera here registering what's here we have the 4k camera if you want to you have powerful leds omnidirectional it can go in any direction you have the tether for 100 meter what more can an enthusiast and a uh, explorer want to go underwater well for me this is perfect this thing does it all so now it's just a matter of uh, doing some preparation some calibrations and then it's going to go into the water under the ice for the very first time so i'm excited about that and uh, i'll fill you in as we go along so i'll just do the um, calibration and all of that and uh, in we go holy cow there it is for the very first time under the ice oh my goodness this is going to be exciting oh i'm freezing my butt off here but it's worth it let's go down and see if we can figure out where these pieces are that i'm looking for i got this microphone i'm going to use with the screen recorder and uh, I'm hoping that we will be able to find I found several pieces which I think could be interesting but um, I didn't have the right attachment on the grabber so I couldn't get them as I said this is a German uh, World War II kind of hotspot there are so many things here that it is impossible to figure out what all of them are. But some of them are definitely German activity from the Second World War. And some of them are basically, well, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, it's going to be a little hunt where I just try, let's close that. Where I just try to locate what I saw the other time. And uh, we grab bottles here from the Second World War time frame. We grabbed other items like flak 20 millimeter brass cartridges. Actually, a lot, but um, there are limitations for the original grabber. 
so that's why I made that thing and uh, I kind of hope that there will be other possibilities with it so only time will tell I guess but this is the general era what I'm where I'm looking for th things this is just where the Germans have thrown in quite a lot of strange stuff actually so this is very weird let me see if I can show you the eyes you can't see the sky it's just eyes you see that this is crazy it's absolutely crazy it works so well doesn't matter it's like well ice give it to me I'll go so the um, Firefish V6S is absolutely phenomenal and uh, this proves it and I said it over and over again there's so many possibilities for us to go out exploring when you have gear like this and a huge thank you to QIC for letting us have the opportunity to use this gear see how smooth it operates it's just amazing but it's gonna take me some time to find these things and uh, I won't bore you too much so when I find a little item I'll I'll let you know and see if we can kind of get it up and uh, check it out holy crikey this thing here is right now saving my life in a way thank you Laura for your kind donation this is a lifesaver in this car absolutely and I need it what the heck happened well it got stuck and I've been fighting with it for like 30 35 minutes and I'm so kind of occupied doing this that I'm I didn't see that I was freezing so hard that it kind of really went into my fingers I'm completely numb I got it up holy cow and I'm so oh I'm so cold I'm so cold holy shit it's like 10 minus or something celsius and oh this is saving my life today oh my goodness oh I have to heat up but oh I've spent about half the battery just trying to get that thing loose I couldn't tell where it was stuck didn't come off and I tried everything and suddenly it just came off so I think it wouldn't be a fishing uh, kind of line something like that Whew, I'm so glad I didn't lose it oh I'm so glad oh but the grabber works fine all of that but oh, give me give me 15 minutes I'll hit up and we'll continue five more minutes and I can actually do my little adventure here holy oh I just forgot about the cold I was so occupied with the ROV oh my goodness I'm glad I just got that I got it because a wonderful lady that support our work gave us a little donation and I thought wow this is something we need now and I'm so glad I bought it of course I can crank up the car and all of that but then you will have some exhaust fumes maybe it could be dangerous something kind of well ventilating the event with this stuff here now so oh my goodness saved my life saved my life all right we're online again the boon is really picking up here I can hear the ice cracking all over the place it's like goo 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 but now I'm not shaking, so I'm going to drop it in and, well, we'll see what we can do. I'm amazed to see what this thing does. It's so cold, it's pure ice there, but it just runs and runs and runs. And I have to say, there's so many strange noises coming from the ice there. There's a goo, 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 and it cracks and all of that. The wind has shifted, so it's kind of really, really, really tough but it doesn't matter it just runs and runs so I'm so happy for that but now let's go down there and see if we can continue a little researcher maybe a little bit handicapped right now of battery capacity but uh, let's just go down and see what we can do okay I am just going to stay pretty close to this area here now um, just gonna do a very sweep little um, search. Oh, I have to take care of that cable so it doesn't get. Oh, I got a heat right under my arms here. Oh my goodness, I'm so more happy. Oh, yeah. So, what I was trying to do was to actually find a spot where there's a lot of bottles, and we found bottles here before German World War II beer bottles, 
that are marked with uh, the dates of the year of production and all of that and one of them that we found had some beautiful uh, writing that dates it and uh, names it directly behind uh, to to a special producer and that is so cool um, I only have about 54% battery you can see that in the right hand corner on the top there and also I have uh, it's gonna be a very very shallow dive but nevertheless I'm, I'm just gonna be right next to the harbor here and uh, who knows what I'm gonna find but my apologies that I didn't record that mess because well there were some recordings but a lot of bad language <laughs> sorry about that let's see if we can get that one come on let's go down to it let's extend the grabber a little bit uh, well it could be old it looks pretty nice actually hoping that we might get down there you have to excuse me if it's not like perfect all the time going with this ROV because it's actually pretty difficult sometimes is that top there a little bit older I think it is I think I'm just gonna go completely like that a little bit forward and then close because this time you see the grabber is modified so it doesn't kind of pull it towards itself like it normally would so I'm gonna see if I can make that happen it will hold it but it kind of isn't the same as it was before see that I got it but I have to go up and then it's kind of very very flimsy attached but hey that could be oh there's a crab can you see it hello crabby do you want a bottle <laughs> I guess he doesn't really care does he so you seen something interesting let's see if we can get down to him want to make an exchange you find me a uh, flak cartridge I'll give you the bottle huh no all right that's okay oh that's a bummer the bottle actually came off but okay I'm fine with that we can look for more treasure down there that looks to be a brick actually and that means that they actually threw over the side here stuff that kind of doesn't belong to the trash stuff so that's fine I, I I wasn't in the right hole that's why we had to kind of abandon ship I had to pull it through and then the bottle just came off maybe it's somewhere around here well there you go I have to say it is so much harder to do this stuff what is that it is so much harder to do this stuff uh, when it's really really cold because it's like going out there in five minutes time it's very 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 cold what is that thing there you see that what is that is that something that we found earlier wow There's a, like a metal thing there. What could that be? Let's check it out from this side. We have found aircraft pieces here as well. So somehow Luftwaffe pieces ended up here. What is that thing there? That looks very, very, very rusty. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like something else, actually. All right. We're going to continue this little journey. What is that? There's something there. Probably some plastic crap. What the hell is that? Okay, there's a cable. Let me see what's going on here. A bit backwards. There's some metal pieces here. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Don't want to get it cold. What is that thing there? Come on, let's go over there. 
you have to kind of go down there gently what is that is that plastic or okay let's do this the problem is if i want to grab this thing now is that too big for that looks like some kind of uh look is it ceramic plastic okay hmm uh, let me see can i grab it that way there's some stuff on top of it here let me see how i'm gonna do this let's pull that cable thing and see what that is all about let me see go down there go down there yep and then no let's go backwards yeah we got it there's a cable or whatever it is uh what is that plastic or well okay oh it actually looks like some ceramic thing see that it is definitely some kind of ceramics or something okay let's see I can't flip the ROV, so how am I going to get that? Okay, let's see if we can flip the thing. Let me see. Go like that. Down. Maybe we can flip it. Come on, come on. Going to use it as a bulldozer. <laughs> come on. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe I can get a grip on the side there. There we go. Come on, come on. Let's go to the left. Is it plastic or is it ceramic? Come on, do your job. Oh, you see that that's the issue. I can't get that if I don't kind of, um, let me see, let me see. What am I gonna do here? Is it plastic being held down by that? It seems like it's floating. Okay, let's go back. Oh, I'm gonna mess it up. I'm gonna mess it up, but let's just do that and come on. Ah, uh, see if we can flip it so I can actually get a grip of it. Come on, move. Oh no, the ROV is moving. Come on, get up. It is a plate or something, I think. Ah, uh, probably some modern crap. But let's have a rehearsal and see if we can get this thing out of there. I'm just gonna uh, see if I can push it over like that. Maybe we can see if there are any kind of brand or something under there come on okay let's see if I can get this grabber stuff oh all right let's come in from the other side here what is that thing there then come on how am I gonna get this thing it's kind of like in the wrong direction here let's see there and then down yeah all right oh, what is that crap in there there's some rocks there so grab it grab it yeah backwards backwards don't do that come on go backwards go backwards go backwards oh come on come on <laughs> come on what we got it <laughs> we got it come on get out of there oh come on how am i gonna do this how am i gonna do this can I get a better grip here? Um, I'm guessing if I kind of open it, it will fall down again. Let's see now. Let's go down and open it a little bit. Oh no, we shouldn't have done that. Well, we have a grip here. But okay, I uh, should have had a better grip here. How can we do this? How can we do this? Like this? No, that's not going to do it. Is that gonna be enough okay let's try and move it up then come on don't you open that grabber come on up 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 oh we got it we got it we got it hold on hold on oh we do for history <laughs> come on go up go up go up cool where it where are we this is heavy it's struggling to control it come on where are you Let's see where the ice hole is. Come on. Oh my goodness. I can't see crap. 
where are we <laughs> you see this is fresh water and that is the, basically the main problem because when you get into the fresh water you won't be able to see anything it's so like a haze and cloud where are the hole where is the hole where's the hole come on come on come on oh i can see the tether there come on let's see if we can get this thing up here come on come. what are you doing come on now yeah, there's the tether hole uh it, it it won't hold it please don't go off we have it we have it ah oh, okay i'm gonna go out and see if i can actually pull it up so give me a second here i have to take off the microphone and everything and blah 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 see that it's actually struggling to hold it parallel because it's probably heavy so i'm gonna deactivate it and uh, we're gonna pull it up there's some tethered entanglements there but where's the plate i can't see it but i have to kind of make it dead in the water then it's gonna i'm just gonna pull it up like that let me see if you can see it yeah the plate is there but I have to turn it off first. I have to turn it off first. Oh my goodness, ice and everything here. Give me a second. Yeah, it's like dead in the water. Big chunk of ice, but our plate is right there. But I can't get it up, it's too heavy. Give me a second, I have to use two hands. Holy cow, some big chunks of ice. All right, let's release the grabber. I'm gonna freeze to death here. It actually managed to pull it up. Wow. This is just grandma's little thing. I'm gonna cry. Look at that. You can see the struggle here. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, ah, it is, it is. I was so much, ho holy cow, can you see that? Oh my God, I'm freezing again. Oh my goodness, look what it got up. I'm sorry, I'm just shaking here. That is a Luftwaffe Mark 1941 plate. That is absolutely ridiculous. But now the cold comes back and my fingers are really numb again. But have a look at that. Holy banana. This is where the struggle went to get it up. Holy cow, look at that. That is crazy. So we are back into the History Hunter little cave. This is the spot where I clean up pieces that we find. And now it's time for this thing here to actually be cleaned up. I'm gonna do my very best. There is something on here that I really can't figure out what is. It's like a brown stain or whatever. It's probably what happened down in the ocean for that long time. Um, let me show you a piece that we have found earlier actually by digging in the ground. See that? It's kind of like three pieces. So me and Bunker Buster Girl, my daughter, we found that. Three different places in the ground separated by almost like a meter. And we found three of them consecutive and we glued it together. And now we have this beautiful plate. Now we have this Luftwaffe thing. You can see the bird there and the date. And we are going to see if we can make that come become beautiful again. So I'm actually gonna soak it first. And uh, I'm gonna work with it a little bit and uh, hopefully we can get that off. Well, it's been soaking for about half an hour and uh, it does seem, oh, that is stubborn. Look at that. I have this sponge here and uh, oh, that's gonna take a lot of work. Okay, it wasn't as easy as I was hoping for. This sponge has a very soft side uh, seems like some is going off, but that is really sticking. Ah, that's not good. Look at that. It doesn't come off. So what am I going to do then? I might have to... I might have to work much harder than I was thinking of. Hmm but it looks to come off a little bit better here. Is that burned? But you can definitely see the uh, Luftwaffe Eagle coming out here. 
Oh, that's going to take a lot of work. All right, give me a few seconds and I'll see what I can do. All right, I think I managed to do what was needed. I actually have some vinegar inside. I soaked it for at least an hour more now. And uh, I'm using this very, very mild steel wool. And look, look at that. <laughs> and I'm just barely touching the surface. And uh, if I'm lucky, this will turn up very, very, very nice. Look at that. So I can actually get all of it, almost all of it off. Look at that. It will have some patina, but you know, that's what you need. That's history. That's the part of the history that we don't want to take away. And remember, this is, this, <laughs> this is pretty unique. It's a Luftwaffe plate being in the ocean, maybe since all the time since the war, maybe a Luftwaffe pilot tossed it in there. I couldn't tell you, but it is amazing. So I'm going to do a little bit more and we're going to have a look at it when it's finished. Oh, wow. What a location. And are we coming back? Oh, yes, we are. With such a great tool like the Firefish V6S, we are definitely coming back. And again, thank you to QYC for letting us have the opportunity to use this wonderful, wonderful tool. Are you ready to see the final result of the cleanup of the plate we found down there? Well, this is the one that was glued. That was in three pieces. This one is in one piece. There's a lot of scratches and stuff there. So maybe they, the air crews used it for tool. Maybe had grease inside. I'm not sure. And boom, there is the proof of the, uh, of the plate on what it was for. It was for the Luftwaffe. It is made in 1941. And holy cow, this is so cool. This could have been used as a thing for the cruise. Or maybe a pilot was just sitting there in the evening, having a meal, didn't want to get that back, just tossed it in. Who knows? You never, never know. Um, that thing there is actually going to be given away. It's going to be given away to one of our supporters. Yeah, you heard right. We don't need it. So it's going to be given away to one of you wonderful people. We have a lot of uh, Patreon and PayPal supporters. So you can check out those links in the video description. Every month I do something special for my supporters. And you can see those videos in the beginning of each month. And there will be a link in the video description, as I said, for how to become a supporter. And of course, it's going to be my pleasure and honor to make sure that one of you will have that. What a fantastic little momentum of the adventure that we were doing together. And it's thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters that I can actually go out and do that. So. This Luftwaffe position have still some secrets. I can tell you for sure we found the plate there. We found something else there. There's a huge debris field here. There's a debris field here. There's a very special item that we're going to show you there. And could it be that there would be something like that down there? Well, you never know. But when you have a tool like this, the Firefish V6S, well, anything is possible. And I have to tell you, with that 4K camera in the front, the heavy duty LEDs, the omnidirectional six thruster design, and most important of all, we have that grabber. This is the part that is original. This is the part that I modified it and are using now. And I can actually grab the plate. So I am very, very happy for that. This thing is just incredible. 100 meter depth rate goes down for several hours, never fails, never lets us down. Magnificent tool. Thank you again, QIC, for letting us have the opportunity to use that. And if you ever look for something to go out underwater exploring, just get that one. I promise you, you won't regret it. Um, let me see. Um, for all of you subscribing, commenting, and sharing our material, we are trying to grow. We have over 300,000 subscribers. Our target is to get to a million. Yeah, you heard it, a million. And we are going to do it with your help. So please go out there and spread the word, share our links, let people subscribe, and let us grow, and let us be able to do even more crazy stuff. And will there be more crazy stuff coming up? Yes, there are. Next little adventure that we're going to do, we're going to visit a former German World War II submarine harbor. And uh, what do you think will happen there? Well, you just have to wait and see because we did some pretty cool discoveries there. And 
it's going to be out there. So I'm going to put the link in the video description for that. So you can check that out later. You can check out the other videos that comes up in a card here. You can press those and watch those videos if you like. But there are so much more coming up. And with your kind support, we will definitely show you even more unique material that very, very few do out there. I think I'm the only one who do stuff like this. And it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of research, and it takes a lot of freaking hard work out there in like 10 minus Celsius. You know, it's crazy, but I'll do it for you. I'll do it for history. I'll do it for the sharing that we do together. And I have to say again, thank you for being out there. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, watch our videos in full, watch many of them, put them on the lunch break, 10 videos, check them out, make us grow and we can reach even more people. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for joining me in this little crazy adventure. Will there be more from the Luftwaffe position? I can promise you we already did and you will be amazed and you love that. Other than that, stay safe, keep smiling and I'll definitely see you later.